What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes boss. How are you? Good, how are you? What is your name sir please? I want you to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Limweta. Mr. Limweta. Yes. You know yesterday I passed here but there was a madam we found I passed here with the vice president. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I thought I should come and do a proper documentary alone not because the vice president was here. Okay. She explained something like um, this, this is how you will, you are able to make uh, this one, okay. and then you power it, okay. power it stuff. So yes. Maybe we can start from there. Please, let's start we from the beginning. Types. By the way, we have two types. If you can see, there's another that model there. Okay, you show yes. me all that. We so can start, start with, with one. Our head office is at Kanchivaya Road. Okay, it's okay. Kanchivaya Road. Yes. Okay. So, what is the name of your organization? It's SNV Netherlands Development Organization. Oh, yes. okay, 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 yes. okay, and, uh, nice. The abbreviation is SNV. Oh, I think I, I always see this. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, Netherlands Development Organization. Okay, okay. But, uh, but then, if you check the latest SNV, that's an abbreviation direct from 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 from, from Dutch. Oh, from Netherlands. Yes. okay. So this NGO has been in Zambia since 1965. But you know that I've seen this word before, okay. SNV, but uh, you without know, understanding. Okay. Yes, yes, please. So it has a, it, it it focuses on three three sectors. Yes. Uh, nutrition. Uh -huh. uh, wash, which is a uh, uh, hygiene and sanitation. Okay. Agriculture as well as energy. Okay. Yes. So those are the three key areas, and we, we have different projects around the country. Okay. In the northern we've had some nutrition projects. We have this one, which is the increase project, which demonstrates this uh, this uh, this setup here. Okay. Yes, and then uh, we have other running projects around the country. Okay. So this project is uh, in southern province, eastern province, uh, mm. central province, uh, as well as northwestern province. Okay. Yes, and some parts of Lusaka. Okay. Yes, so what we have here, this is a home biodigester. What is it? Home biodigester. Okay, okay, home, home. Not industrial. No, no, no. no. Okay. Mm -hmm. you can see from the size. Mm -hmm. When you talk of industrial things, obviously, it, it, it must be massive. Massive. Yes. Uh -huh. So we have two types: the home uh, biodigester as well as the the, the fixed dome uh, home. Bi uh, I mean, the fixed dome biodigester, mm -hmm. which can be bigger as big as one is able to. Of okay. Course it goes with the with the amount of inputs that you, well, that a farmer has. Okay. For example, if I'm a farmer with ten cattle, obviously I can't go for the big one because what I feed there may not may, may not be enough to run that system. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So this one has got two chambers. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is to produce uh, to produce uh, uh, energy. Mm. Energy for cooking. Uh, when it's big, it's big, you can even use it for other purposes such as the brooder which is there. Ah, yes. to provide like a heating, yes. whatever. For the fixed ones, you can even build one which is as big as running a generator that is based on it, the gas which is being produced. So here, yeah, must you only use, can you only use cow dung? Can't you use like a pig? Yes, it can be a combination of a lot of food, a lot of meat. Even a chicken? Of, yes, chicken, as long as it's fresh, even food waste. The cabbage, maybe in your garden, you've sure. got something, you combine it and you even have better, better byproducts. So how do you depose, how do you feed it in? Okay, there's an inlet there. Okay. This, if you observe here, uh -huh. we have two chambers. We have this one here and this one here. Oh. This is a gas collecting chamber. Mm -hmm. This is where you feed from. Okay. So the cow dung and everything, you yes. feed from here. As you can oh. see from here. Yes, you feed from here. Then you see it. Yes, and there's some combination of water as well so that it's a... Uh, okay, it's like... Pour it, like yes, it's able to yes. flow, yes. I see. So, as it is being decomposing, remember this is closed. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have oxygen that is... You don't have oxygen that is coming here direct. Okay. The whole idea is for you to produce methane gas. And oh. methane gas is the one which burns and you use for cooking it for energy. Mm -hmm. yes, so, anaerobic respiration is taking place here. And then as it is being digested, the gas this keeps filling up. Okay. So the first day you don't expect this to be here, to be flat, because there's okay. no gas that is on it. But oh. after a number of days, it will start being filling up. Okay. Then, even when we use it continuously, this gas is going to reduce. Mm. And then later on it starts filling up because the digestion is taking place, the gas is being formed, the methane gas is being formed. Okay. Use that way. Mm. So you fit from here. Yes. And the ratio is the one to one, right? One the to one. water to the water the manure. To the okay. 
for example, if you are feeding it 300 kgs of uh, cow dung, mm -hmm. you also need uh, about uh, around 300 liters of water as well. So how frequently do you, are you supposed to continue feeding the digest? The bigger amount of feeding is done once, and then after feeding it once, then you start feeding on a daily basis. Mm. It can be a 20, a 20 kgs or a 20 liters. Like this example. one? Uh -huh. Yeah, for this one. For this one, but it's normally depends on how you are also using the gas. How you are using the gas? Oh. If you are using the gas on a daily basis, uh, then you need to be feeding it every day. Maybe one bucket, which is like oh. twenty liters. Okay, okay, maybe you put a half of the water, half the manure. Then you make it porridge. You feed it, so it will continue making gas. Yes. The whole wow. Day, since you are using it daily, mm -hmm. you want your gas. You, would want, you wouldn't want to find yourself in the situation where you don't have gas. Oh. Yes. Just like us human beings, if I have to live here with me, I have mm. to keep eating at least three meals. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. So you mean when it, so this gas now it is so rich and real such that it can even power a stove. Yes, the, 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 size, the capacity. Yes, yes. I'm talking about like this particular one to do that car small two plate stove. Yeah. Well, this one, yes, actually. Really? Okay. There from, uh, ah, from no, the I need the I, I need it to sit. So how many days did it take you to to be, before it can start working? To install this one. Yes, like the way you, you start it today, after how many days we eat, you start making gas? Was it three days? So to install it? Less than one week? Yes, less than one hours, week. Then less than one week to start it forming gas. Okay, yes. then you just see making a yes. pressure like this, you know that there's gas yes, inside. There's, there's some ways in which we, we, in which we do it to be faster. For example, if you are starting it, you may, you may go to go and get some slurry from someone who has... Oh, so because there are already some yes, exactly. bacteria there exactly. also. Yeah. Exactly. So that it does a quick one. Yes. yes. Now, how do you know? When, when is the time to remove the slurry now inside? We'll go there. Ah, we'll good. Go there. No, remember, okay, please. Remember, you are feeding here, Dave. Yes. So if you are feeding here, what happens? Some of the material has to leave it. Uh -huh, ah, because it will eventually get full. The material that is leaving the system is the one which is now uh, digested. Uh, remember, the, the science says uh, heavy material settles down, mm. the lighter one goes up. Yes. So which one is heavy material? The one you are feeding is? Yes. Uh -huh. Now the one that is already digested becomes light. So it will that be on top. You even have the gas being collected here because it's light and it's going up. Uh -huh. so okay. Wow. You've done your feeding. Mm -hmm. And then you you have an outlet for the gas here. Wow. Like here. Yes. And then this is the filter. The filter is that sometimes maybe there are some other gases that may have been formed accidentally. Okay, so you okay. Want to filter them so that the gas you get here mm -hmm. is as good as the one which you need for you to power that. Mm. So so how do you oh so how do you remove the other gases? Or oh, it filters. Filtered, yeah, the system has what, what, oh, what we call the filter. Okay, good. And then here we have the, uh, the this is a draining point here. Uh -huh. what you do know you there's drain? water here. You are adding water here, so it may have some moisture. So maybe after so many days, maybe a week or so, mm -hmm. just open so that everything drains and a lot of that moisture is drained. Oh, yes. So I that see. you have pure, pure methane. Good, good, good. And then this chamber here. Yes. You see it, eh? Yes. So what happens when we feed there, this material is going to raise up. Mm -hmm. And this is one which is now becomes the bio -sradi. You are able oh. to dry it, and after drying it, you are able to apply. It's organic fertilizer, actually. So this fertilizer is really good Very now powerful. for, for crops. Powerful. Yes. Because it has undergone some yes. whatever, so yes. you can take it to your crops in the yes. garden. Remember, it's also treated here because there's heat that is being produced here. Yes. So it's treated and you don't, for this one, you can't compare it with a direct cow dung. Yes. Because of the heat that is taking place. Oh, so, so the weeds is not the one which will come out and bring a lot of manure. Especially. <laughs> uh huh. So this one, as yes. There, yes. Up, uh huh. You have this one coming. Oh, yes. so this is the slurry coming out. And this one you can even go and put it direct in your... Direct or you dry it. Or you dry it yes. somewhere. Because the project also has an entrepreneurship part of it. Good. You are able to dry it and you are able to sell to farmers who don't have cow, uh, yes. cows, for example. Yes, this yes. So this is where we bring entrepreneurship. Mm. Right. So from here... Excellent. Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. 
you see, it is, it is coming out from the ground here. We buried it. I see. Mm. It comes here. And now it connects to the store. This one, you are able to switch it on. <laughs> Come on. You are able to switch it off and you will light here. You are okay. able to cook. This egg really? Will, yes. This is we the just want to see the flame coming out, this, okay. this so small flame. The flame is also so that he, it, it, it may not be visible. It may, it's not visible. Yes. Okay. Uh, remember, it's a gas. We've been using this pot, but it's yes, no yes. color here. Yes, so yes. It's very yes. clean. Okay, very it's clean. everything is clean energy. Yes, it's clean energy. And mm. also, maybe the matches is finished. Okay. And, um, because uh, we use the matches to light it. Okay, but okay. But there are some stoves which you just light. Yes, I know. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. But we've been using this one. The matches is just that it's finished. I don't know whether one of the colleagues. So, what kind of food can you cook on this stove? Any food. Really? You can you cook with shima there. Please. Really? Please, because this one, when it's well, well functioning, uh -huh, it is a you lot have of six gas. Six hours continuous of cooking before the gas finishes. What? Wow. <laughs> Nice. Matches at city. Yet city the matches. Ah. I'll come back with the matches. Sure, sure. We'll look for matches. We'll sure. have to. He, he wants to continue. Yes, he wants the. Eh. He wants to feel the heat. The I I right. just wanted to. I mean to prove the the end side that indeed <laughs> the cow dung. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. So we also have this brooder here. This is a brooder which you can use in your poultry, in your in your piggery. Oh, like it's maybe the new like piglets instead yes, of yes, burning a lot of charcoal. Yes, the chicks. Fine. Okay. Instead of you using the, oh, instead of you using the, the, the charcoal, for example, or electricity, for example, you go for this one, which is cheaper. Wow. Quite on the cost. Okay. Oh, really? This one works is, um, mm -hmm. see those shawarma, those guys with shawarma. Exactly. So you just light it here, ah. a whole lot of this component will heat up. Well, it will heat up, and then you can put it in your what? You just set it up. So where can people light. buy these uh, things like this? Okay. Um, oh, you, oh, oh, this one you don't. What kind of uh, program do you support at your office? Okay, mostly we su we support one having this system. Mm -hmm. so, uh, there are people who we train who, because of the entrepreneurship Hello? part of it. Yes. There are people who, who train who do the setting eh? up of mm. either this one or the permanent one. Okay, so the permanent one is uh, like the one they dig underground. Yes, actually, we we'll go to the oh, yeah. other stand. That's Please, one. thank you. Okay. So, uh, this one. For well, this one, it covers the 500 chicks. It's chickens. But, uh, yes. Okay, around it, around that one. Yes. And then in this one, you are able to do this. And if it's bigger, you can even you can even run a stove, uh, a stove, a proper stove with the oven. Really? Yes. Because if it can do for six hours, and maybe you just exactly. want to use a stove exactly. for two hours. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. So that's how the system works. Right. Okay. So go to the other one. Okay, please. Remember, we talked about the bios run. Yes. So that bios run, uh -huh. you can use it for your for your crops such as fruits, for example. And you have the best fruits. Okay, best organic. Reasons, yes, one of the reasons why you find that a lot of the fruits we get sometimes is not of good quality. Mm -hmm, Application mm -hmm. of synthetic fertilizer. There we go. I'm sure you are also aware that if you are if you are producing vegetables, yes, yes, every time. Uh, chicken, chicken. Yes, yes, yes. That one for chicken droppings would be the best. In terms yes, of taste, taste especially. I I agree. Yes. I agree. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, have this one here. Yes. So this is the one that is now a fixed one. Mm. Uh, the difference between this one and that one, that one is portable. If I'm renting, a, I'm renting an area, even a house, I can. That one will be the best. You can, oh, you yeah. can easily carry it and go and put it there, so that when you shift, yes. you can just drain it and then carry it. Yes, but when this one, you build it is permanent. So maybe when you sell that to that one of you. You also have to put the value of it. There are no plenty. Like yes, the there is a biodigester. There is a gentleman I saw who was... Okay. Yes. So this one, how does it go like? This one, how does it go Ah. Oh, so this, this part here is, is, is that one there. I was showing you that you feed from there, the, the inlet. This is why you do your feeding. Some people can even connect the toilet directly. Oh, they can even call. Yes, but oh. then because of ethical issues, especially here in Zambia. Yes, uh, yes, I know. To avoid that, would to avoid that one. I'm not coming to buy your vegetables. Yes, because yeah, I know. Human, human waste. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, but then it's very workable. Okay. You, you are not. You don't have any problem with it. Uh huh. But there are no pathogens involved. No. Whatever. Oh, oh, yeah, you are right. You are right. 
there we go, we go. My Zambian is coming alive. Yes. Uh -huh. For our friends, for some of our friends, actually, especially the Chinese. The Chinese. <laughs> I know, I know. I've heard such stories. Yes, sure. So we have. To okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just like I was showing where we fit from. Yes, here. yes. It comes here. This is an enclosure now. Mm. This is now like that dome that we have. So the larger, the, the heavy material that you are thinking to be settling here, mm -hmm. all the lighter one will be raised. On top. And then the gas, there's also a gas chamber here. Mm. So that paper was showing which is going to the store is yes. this one now. Okay. They're collecting the gas up. Mm. And this one will cover it. And the only component which will be visible on top is going to be reduced. Wow. Yes. Nice. Sure. Okay, so what else can you show me? Um, I'm seeing some. What? 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 What is this in this bag or whatever? That bag is a. It's a folder. Oh, it's, the, it's a folder. Folder set. Okay. Uh, like for passions. So we have three value chains. Remember, I said the project is in eastern, southern, and in, uh, central and northwestern province. Wow. So province you did well like to be in southern so, province. So in, in eastern, we promote the the, the 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 cotton value chain. So in between these oranges, because the oranges you can't plant in like maize closer. Okay, yeah. There's at least five meters. Yes. There's at least five meters. So what do you do in between? You want a short stem in this, oh, and long stem in the Oh, the real trees is yes. there. So as the tree grows, you also reduce the activities in terms of agriculture. No, people are talking about avocado. Yes, so that we call that one intensified agriculture. This is whereby I have a smaller land, but mm -hmm. I'm producing more profits. And then you, for those who are not exposed, they will even accuse me to say, how come they're the Ministry of Agriculture? Yeah, true, 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 true. But true. the whole issue is intensifying. Wow. So that within a short term, for example, vegetables such as rape or Chinese, within mm -hmm. three weeks, you start selling so that you also have profits. Wow. So that it cuts on you, the impact in terms of who, your investment. Wow. Yes. Nice. Okay. So there's even a beehive there. If you are using, if you have the trees, which is there's a beehive. Uh, then what happens? You have the oranges. Uh, how is it in the? the flowers, and then you put your beehive there. Oh, so you are making this there. really a value honey chain. There, and honey is very expensive. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Thing. So actual agriculture is just about planning. How you plan it is very important. Planning, very important. Yes. So and those so oranges we are seeing no are also a product of yes. the same, the same manure, yes. organic yes. manure which is coming very, from here. Very nutritious. Yeah, very yeah, nutritious. yeah. And actually, these trees they are just about seven months old. Wow. They are giving flowers. So with, Ooh. Good, with good management, within two years you should start having the fruits. Having the fruits. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. What else can... Uh -huh. I, I'm seeing an avocado tree here, yes. which was like grafted or some grafted kind. As well, yes. mm. so it's grafted so that the whole idea of grafting is you want quality, yes. you also want something to give you results within the shortest possible time. Wow, Instead nice. of going the local way where we have those trees which will give us fruits after 10 years, yes. you have one which is going to give you fruits after a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, can I get your contact finally? Okay, sure. Yes, I get your contact, then I will, I will keep in touch. This one is, has been very important, very, very important. We are learning here. So, me and Florence are we learning. Are going, no, we are going to start using this. So, I'm with Florence here. We have just gotten some very vital yeah, information. Very good information. So, Biogas digester. Biogas digester. What is your name again, Mr. Okay, Mr. Dimweta. Okay, Mr. Dimweta, it has been a day. Okay, guys, so it's lit here at the S SNV about the biogas digester. Oh, take a look at the helicopter. Let me capture the helicopter. The helicopter, where are you? Yeah, that's the helicopter. So you can even do a helicopter ride here. But we'll not do a helicopter ride. As we want to do, we don't pretend. Why why won't we do a helicopter ride? We don't have, money. We don't have <laughs> money, guys. That's why we can't do a helicopter. We should show you. Anyway, all the same. Thank you so much guys for watching. So we'll get more details. So we are getting details about the innovation through agriculture. Here using the biogas digester. So with me, Florence, yeah. in the showground. We'll see you in another video just here in the showground. So bye bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yes, this.